My aspirations for becoming a doctor started at a very young age. For as long as I can remember, I've always said I wanted to be a doctor. My grandfather, my mom's dad, lived with us from the time I was born till his passing in 2013. And so my mom would like let me take his blood sugar levels and help prepare his meals and know what medication he had to take. And then my sophomore year here at Cristo Rey, my father suffered a stroke, which left him with permanent brain damage. I saw both the social aspect that healthcare had on my family and our lack of access to that, but also seeing like the clinicians, the doctors all supporting my dad and like helping us as a family cope and understand what was going on. All of that definitely had an influence on my aspirations because our lack of access to Medicare and Medicaid and like knowing how much my family was struggling financially. A big thing is like giving back to my community and helping families like myself, like my family. I don't think that I would be where I am if it wasn't for the research opportunities given to me here at Cristo Rey using AP Research and AP Seminar. When I took AP Research as a senior, it was after my dad had suffered his stroke. My research was based on the socioeconomic effects your zip code has on like your access to healthcare, and lo and behold, minorities in the Milwaukee area zip codes where we predominantly reside, we don't have as much affordability to healthcare. And if it hadn't been for that little seed that was started by Mr. Nash in the AP seminar class, um, I don't think I would, I would be doing research at the moment. I think what makes Christo Ray Jesuits education unique is through the academics and through the corporate work study program, are able to prepare our students for both college and the workplace by helping them think about what are those key mindsets and those key skills that would be helpful for them as they think about both their academics and whatever that job is that might be in their future. Our AP program helps prepare students for college because it really helps them to think about the skills and the mindsets they're, they're going to need for that college experience. So whether it's executive functioning skills, just how to plan out different work, how to uh, come up with strategies for how to read large amounts of text, how to problem solve when they hit different struggles and challenges, and how to solve those problems for themselves when there's not a teacher sitting next to them, are really valuable skills that our students are learning here at Cristo Rey. I also participate in the Step Up program here at MCW. I was just drawn to the Step Up program just because of its um, focus on cardiovascular diseases. During my interview, I spoke a lot about the influence AP Research had on me, the class that I took at Christo Rey and AP Seminar. And so being able to talk about Christo Rey's classes that I took and seeing how I was able to connect that to bench work and like laboratory experiences was something that I think was eye-catching to them. And so they said that it would take a couple of weeks to hear back from them. And the next day around 10 a.m., I received an email saying that I was accepted to the program. At the Medical College of Wisconsin, we hope to give them tools to know how to apply to graduate school and medical school, where to have resources to help them along the way once they get into those schools. And then lastly, and most importantly, we want to provide them with hands-on research experience. Yazenia had an, a, an extraordinary story and she was very motivated. And for those reasons, um, we wanted to have her in our program. Walking up to this building, um, it's huge. MCW is huge. And I think knowing my parents didn't get to finish school and like me walking up to this huge building is um, just, it's just, I'm always astounded by such a beautiful campus and like that I get to be a part of something so big. And so I'm always just very like appreciative to be able to have this opportunity to work in this building. I'm really proud of her. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I was a little hard on her pushing her, you know, but I knew the obstacles that she would run into. And, and knowing that when she's here at Cristo Rey, I said, just any you can do it. We have to put everything in God's hands. And to this day, I always tell her we put our faith in God. I think my father would be really proud of her. I tell her that every day. Something I would tell freshman year, Yesenia, in high school is that it would be okay. I think that, I think the loss of my grandfather in middle school and then my dad suffering his stroke, um, made me feel like I wouldn't be able to do something in the medical field. And I think I've encountered a lot of challenges. 
But I think I've always come out stronger. I think that's thanks to like a very good and solid support system. And I think if it wasn't for them, um, I wouldn't be where I am. So just telling myself that it's always brighter on the other side and that life goes on. A goal that I definitely have is definitely to open up my own practice on Milwaukee South Side, just because I want to be able to give back to my community and be a part of my community. But definitely being able to have a practice where I make access to healthcare affordable, especially for community members where there's that language barrier, that cultural barrier. Being from Milwaukee and just like wanting to give back to my community, I think my parents have always instilled in me to like be humble and. I think if it wasn't for this community and for Cristo Rey, I wouldn't be the person I am or where I am today.